Manchester City are held at home by Crystal Palace. Now, they aren't just 16 points behind Liverpool, which will become 19 if Jurgen Klopp wins his game in hand. They have 48 points after 23 games. That's eight, eight points less than last year. 14 points less than two years ago, and just two more than Pep's first season when they finished third uh, and were fourth for most of the year. Jules, it ruined Pep's birthday. <laughs> yeah. But why this backward slide? Is it really all John Stones' fault? It, it's not all John Stones' fault. I mean, you know, he's, he's far from perfect. I think there's there's been a lack, like we've like we've said for many weeks now, there's been a lack of planning in terms of recruitment, uh, a lack of, of recruitment strategy, especially to strengthen the, um, the, the, the back line, if, even in midfield, I think where they could have done with a bit more fresh blood. I think the Leroy Sané injury was really unfortunate for them because they could have done now with him, especially when you see Raheem Sterling, who was so good for much of the season and now he's not as good anymore. Uh, and, and if Kevin De Bruyne is not, you know, in his, at his best, let's say, in terms of creativity, then I, I do think they struggle. Bernardo Silva is not as good as he was last season. David Silva is not as good as he was last season and had some injuries and he's getting older. Now Fernandinho had to play a lot at the back when you you miss and we've said it many times Rodri is a lovely elegant talented player but you need Fernandinho in that sort of midfield role to you know to to do what he does best to break I, down the opposition's attacks all of that and I think I am shocked and amazed that you've talked for like a minute and a half and you haven't mentioned the injury that was bigger I was than all of them that. I was coming to that Emmerich Laporte, one yeah, of the three best no, of defenders in the world. But you know what? Now I get to the point where I'm not sure even if Emmerich has been fit, hasn't been injured, let's say. I, I still think they would be behind Liverpool. I think they've got more issues than just well, losing actually, the defender. If which Laporte is and Sané are fit all season long, yeah. what is the gap between them and Liverpool? It's obviously, obviously not 16 points, but I still think they're behind them because I think there were, there were too many weaknesses. The fullbacks, again, how many times are we going to talk about fullbacks? Walker, Cancelo, this is not good enough. <laughs> Mendy... But whoever plays left back, Cancelo, Angelino. bad timing. Oh man, come on! I'm not saying Danilo is the the best fullback ever, but to swap Danilo for Cancelo and some money as well, you think like really? And I, so I just think that even if you put Sane there, and even if you put uh, Laporte there for the whole season, I just I, I just think they're be, I think they're behind I, I think they're behind Liverpool, and I just think also psychologically when you come out of the two seasons that they just had domestically with 100 points and the 98 points I just don't think you can do a third one like that with that degree of excellence that degree of demands and with, with Pep at the end even Pep himself I don't think has the same intensity and this this, the, oh. No, that, that, that he had. I, I don't think you can have an, a third season. Let's have this conversation after when, City win the Champions League. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, too right. Yeah, but they, but they, they won't. They won't win the Champions League. You, you know that. But you know that they don't defend well enough to win the Champions League. It, you know what? Don't you think Real Madrid right now? If you look at Real Madrid and, and, and Man City, who's going to go through? Be honest. Be honest. Don't right don't now me, with right all now. the injuries that Real Madrid have, like right now. I, 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 I think it's very close. I think City can beat them. I mean, I, look, I, for me, City... Do you think this City team can win the Champions League? For me, really? for me, City are one of the two, three favourites to win the Champions League this year. Oh, man, come on. Let's see. We'll see. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.